Hi, this is Mrs. St. Laurent again, and I have my mathematicians with me. You are? Anna. And? Tyler. And this afternoon we are playing some baseball math facts. So we need a few more supplies today than we usually have. We need two dice. We also have some player pieces for our baseball players. So I have nine of these. These are like little juju fruits, but anything will work. So Tyler is going to be the green team, so he's got nine green candies. Green. And Renee is going to be the blue team, so she's got nine blue candies. Yeah. You can leave those right there for now. The next piece of supplies is we're going to need the numbers 1 through 12 <laughs> written on a piece of paper. So I'm going to write those in. And after you write those, you're going to... Oh, can we not make noise with the players? You're going to want to cut those out, so I'll do that really quickly here. Can you put the players down? After you cut out these cards, you could also use, like, if you have a deck of cards at home, you could do that. The only reason I chose to write these is because they're going to need to fit on our bases in our baseball game. I'll show you what I mean in a second. After I write out my number cards, I'll have Tyler shuffle them up, and I'm going to make a very simple baseball board for you. You don't have to be a great artist. I've always told my students that I am the world's worst artist, but fortunately, I don't have to be good at art to enjoy a little math. All right, so Tyler, if you would shuffle those cards up. Doesn't have to be perfect. Now, for a baseball board, again, nothing has to be perfect. I have played baseball before, so I do know a little bit about what it looks like. And I'm just going to draw basically a diamond to have our base path. There's a base. So I have a home plate up top, first, second down on the bottom, third where my finger is, and then obviously there's back to the home plate. That will be our game board. Oh, Renee, your pieces are going all over. Leave them right there. And I also made a score sheet. So basically, we're playing a three-inning baseball game, and I've got it set up for Ryler, Ry, uh, ugh, Renee against Tyler. And I'm marking runs and outs so that we'll know who wins the game. Now let's talk about how we actually play. Are you ready to listen? Mom, where's this blue and green for? Those are our people for the game. So the way this works is we're going to roll, when it's your turn and you're up to bat, you're going to roll the dice. When you roll the dice, you can choose to either add those two numbers together or subtract them. You decide what to do based on what numbers are sitting on the bases. Tyler, have you shuffled the cards? No, I'm just not trying to get them in order. Here, that's okay. Let's just I'm make just a pile of them right here. They're just flipped upside down. That's okay. Put them up on the stack. All right, so we're going to draw some cards. Let's say Renee's going to be up first. The first card we drew is a three, and we're placing that at home plate. And I'm trying to set my game board so you can see it. So there's the three. Two, Next three, card three, is three. an eight. We'll put that at first base. Then we have a nine. That is at second base. And a seven, and that's at third base. So now what's going to happen, Renee, may I set these over here? All right, Renee, will you carefully roll the dice? Yeah. And I'll help Renee with adding and subtracting. Tyler's going to watch and check our work. Roll the dice. Not too far. Oops. She got... A three and a two. So if we were to add these together, we would get five. And if we were to subtract them, we'd get one. We don't have any of those on our bases. There's a three, an eight, a nine, and a seven. So unfortunately, we get an out because there is not a five on there. So I'm going to make a mark. Renee has one out. When we get to three outs, it'll switch to be Tyler's turn. Renee, go ahead and roll the dice again. Okay. I'm not going to do this. Okay, you can do it. I'm going to roll nine. All right, let's see. 
and she has a three and a one. Three plus one is four, two. and three minus one is two. Neither of those are on the board, so we have another out. All right, Renee, we need a big roll here, honey. Big rolls. Oh, not too, not hard, just. She got a three and a two again, so that's her third out. Renee scored nothing that inning. That's okay. Now it's Tyler's turn, and we'll switch the cards in the next inning. Go ahead, Tyler, roll. Tyler has a five and a five. Tyler, what's five plus five? Ten. Is ten on the board? No. It, what's five minus five? Five minus? Five, take away five. Five. If you have five and you take away all five, you have? Ten. No, not ten. Zero. You have five, zero. Are five or zero, uh, ten or zero on the board? Yeah. Nope, so Tyler gets an out. We'll mark an out for him. Your turn, Ty. Roll again. <laughs> A five and a five again. We know that's an out. All right, one more roll, Tyler. A four and a three. Tyler, what is four plus three? Seven? Do you see a seven yes. right here? So Tyler gets to take his person, and he got a triple because seven's on third base. So here he is. First, second, and there's his guy on third base. Tyler gets to go again. Roll again, buddy. Try to score him. Yeah. Tyler got five and two. What is five plus two? Five. five, six, seven. Seven. That's another triple. So watch. This guy goes one, two, three. And this guy here scores. So Tyler gets a run. Let's mark that. Tyler, roll again. Oh, my It'll be our turn soon. Two, two plus two is... Two minus two is three. Two, take away two. Zero. Zero. So that's Tyler's third out. All right, it's time to switch. We're going to take these. Tyler, take your player off. And we'll put those well, in the stack. Let's I get new numbers. We have a one. That will be hard. A five. I'm going to get to one. An eleven. And a four. All right, Renee's turn to roll. Okay. Here are the dice, honey. Can you roll them? Yes. Here we go. Here we go. On the board. A five and a one. Five plus one is six. six. Renee, what number comes before five? Um, Let's try counting. One, two, three, four, five. Four comes before it. And four is on here. So Renee's person scores a triple. One, two, three. Renee, you get to roll again. Yeah. Oh, careful, Ty. Six and a one. Six plus one. What number comes after six? Um, two. One, two, two three, four, four five, six, seven. seven. There's no seven. What number comes before six? Six minus one is five. Yeah. This is a good example so you can see how this is done. So this person, the five is on first base. That means everyone gets to move one base. So this hitter goes to first, and this one comes home. So Renee just scored. And here, I should have shown you the scoreboard. So in the first inning, Renee got three outs. And for the first inning for Tyler, he got one run and three outs. Now we're in the second inning, and Renee has one run. All right, Renee, your turn to roll again. Yes. Six and a four. Well, six plus four, I'll tell you, is ten. That's not on here. Six minus four. Six. Let's take away four fingers. One, two, three, four. Renee, how many fingers do I have left? How many is that? Um, seven. No. One, two. <laughs> two is not on the board. Renee gets an out. Oh, yay. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the game continues like this until you finish three innings. So right now, Tyler and Renee are scored one to one, so it's a tie game. We'll finish playing the game, but we don't have to show you the whole game. You should try it at home. So remember, the supplies you need, you need some counters. You really only need probably four of these for each team. You need two dice. You'll want to cut up some paper so that you have 12 little sheets. 1 through 12, 
you'll want to make some sort of scoreboard. I got if you can, oh, one second. If you can remember outs, you don't have to write all the outs, but you'll want to have some sort of scoreboard to know who scored what and what, what inning. And the last thing that you need is some sort of game board. So I just drew a quick little diamond, as you saw me draw it, with a home plate and then first, second, and third. So this allows you a chance to practice your adding and subtracting with numbers between one and six. So happy baseball playing. This is Mrs. St. Laurent. And Tyler. And Lynette. Saying have a good day. Have a, have good, a good day. day.